Hi, I'm Evie Zavoy, author of Pride, and welcome to Bushwick. So Cafe Erzumi is named after the Haitian Vodou goddess Erzumi, who is kind of a goddess of love and fertility and beauty, and in Pride, the equivalent to that would be Oshun, which is a Yoruba or a Sandinia goddess of love and beauty, and I think that is just such a great connection. So I really wanted to write a love story, but there was so much going on in the world with politics and just overall global drama. It was hard to really focus on the ooey gooey feelings of a 17 year old falling in love. So I had a conversation with my editor and the idea of doing a retelling of Pride and Prejudice came out. So what I love about Pride is that it's equal parts politics and love, ooey gooey feelings with trying to get into college, trying to make sense of a changing neighborhood, and trying to understand someone who seems to be similar but is actually very different and then turns out to be very similar as well. So this is Maria Hernandez Park in Bushwick and there's a scene in Pride where Zuri and Darius have a little banter between them and it's named after a woman named Maria Hernandez who was unfortunately murdered right on that street, Star Street, and she was kind of a, a community activist. So because of her work in the community and the fact that she was murdered, this park was named after her and it's one of the very few parks in New York City that's named after a woman of color. Uh, I don't know if everybody who comes here knows that bit of history, but it's Googleable and it's, uh, it's very important to know in terms of what has happened in this community. When I was growing up, I did not come here at all. I don't know who came here, but this area was very industrial. But now it is part of a graffiti tour hosted by the Bushwick Collective. It's beautiful now. Graffiti was a huge part of my upbringing. Graffiti was everywhere, on trains, on the side of buildings, on sidewalks, on the side of people's homes. It was how the neighborhood kids expressed themselves and told their stories. And most of the time, they weren't painted over. They were there for us to look at. So the cover of Pride has a little graffiti on it, so does American Street. Graffiti is a huge part of my cultural aesthetic. I love it, it's beautiful. So a real powerful element in Pride is the actual graffiti. There's conversations about graffiti and graffiti is featured on the cover. And the graffiti in Pride is very real, as you can see in the background. Uh, but when I was growing up in Bushwick, uh, there were young people who was, uh, you know, who were tagging the walls. They were not getting paid to do it, and they were not called street artists. They were just the kids in the neighborhood. Now we have professional street artists painting neighborhoods like this, little corners of Bushwick where it used to be industrial, and it's revived with all this incredible street art. It is beautiful. At the same time, there is a history behind tagging walls.